This is the mega project everybody is talking about. China has done it again. A mega bridge that hangs over 625 meters above a canyon. It's the Huajian Grand Canyon Bridge in China, officially the tallest bridge on Earth. If you fall from that bridge, it would take you around 20 seconds to go down. So you have time to reflect about your life and why you haven't subscribed to this channel. Honestly, this is impressive, but also very terrifying. It's a statement that America will definitely hate. But let's explore what is really going on. The truth is that, over the past two decades, China hasn't just built bridges, they've redefined what's possible. Because impossible isn't Chinese. They've built the Beipanjiang Bridge 565 meters above a valley. This bridge held the record as the tallest bridge in the world, before the Huajiang Bridge. But China didn't stop there, they also built the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Sea Crossing Bridge. I think the idea of China has been clear. They don't go around obstacles, they go over them. And Hua Jiang is the right example. It's true that records are impressive, but why did they put so much effort in building this? So the Guizhou province is one of China's most mountainous regions. For many years, the towns there were isolated. The travelers were forced onto dangerous roads, which, to be honest, doesn't help China's reputation. So this bridge is supposed to help with that, reducing that traveling from four hours to just one hour. But many people think that China is lying. They just want to show off what their nation can achieve. For them, this bridge is less about cars and trucks and more about reputation. To be honest, it looks like a valid reason. Because China went through a lot of humiliation, and it's completely legit if they want to show to the world what they are capable of. But let's get this right. They need the bridge. But why did they make it so tall? Do you realize that at 625 meters, there is no ground support? Every steel cable and every concrete tower had to fight gravity, wind, and bad weather. You probably saw what happened with the Jianja Yellow River Bridge where the cables snapped, causing the bridge to collapse, killing about 12 people. So what China did here is that helicopters lifted materials, cranes stretched across the canyon, every step being monitored by sensors and drones. But this is not enough. They need to be sure of the security of any passengers. So, on August 21st, 2025, they started the bridge's load test, and fortunately, the test was successfully completed on August 25th, 2025. By the way, subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying it so far. So, how will it impact Chinese people and the world? Well, this isn't just a spectacle. For locals, a trip that once took over an hour will take about a minute. Access to schools, hospitals, and markets will transform daily life. Logistics will improve, tourism will grow, and the surrounding region could finally flourish, thanks to one engineering marvel. I don't think any country in the world has ever accomplished such things. Even America doesn't have anything closer to this. All in all, it looks like China isn't in a race anymore. China has already taken the lead in the infrastructure race for too long because they didn't only build mega bridges, but they also built record-breaking skyscrapers and even futuristic cities. The China that the Western media is portraying every day is definitely dead. The new one is fearless and tireless. But I want to hear from you. Would you actually drive across a bridge taller than any other on Earth? And do you think America is capable of catching up?